how Project Base Point works in Revit. If you didn't watch the previous video regarding the internal origin in Revit, this video is being built on top of it because it's crucial to understand how internal origin works in order to understand how base point works. Let's switch it on and let's see where it's located. I will just click visibility setting on, apply, and you can see that my project base point is just located right next to the, um, the internal origin. Now, in order to move this, you can just simply click and drag it around and you can see that the values are changing around the model. So obviously these the values are changing is because also the survey point, which is somewhere far distance or somewhere away. But the main point here is to, to, to think that we need to understand that this also represents zero, zero, zero. And you might be like, okay, it's weird thing because the internal origin, the x-axis and um, the y-axis and x-axis represent zero, zero, zero as indicated in the previous video. How come project base point also indicates zero, zero, zero? So project base point does not indicate zero, zero, zero for Revit. It indicates zero, zero, zero for your project. What could be the difference? So the difference is that if you place this uh, origin here, the uh, project base point here, and if you select, for example, if you go to the annotate tab and if you go to spot coordinates and make sure that these spot coordinates are taken from the project base point, you are able to get 000 on this corner because it's taking all the information from that particular corner. And on top of that, you're also able to insert Revit links directly with to other than internal origin to origin to the project base point. So that also gives you that option. Do we use it much? We generally prefer to use internal origin to origin. We will cover the best practices, but in order to clarify this video and focus on the point of what does project base point do is generally it allows you to identify another location that allows you to specify, okay, my project um, like origin is here. I already started building my Revit model. So I cannot move because I don't want to move my entire Revit model. If I have to move entire Revit model, I might lose some data. This way, it gives you flexibility to move the project base point at the corner or the location that you want to insert. Maybe it's like at the corner or the grid location could be the best way to insert it. However, the best practice is to have the project base point and internal origin aligned right from the beginning. This will give you the best results. Just in case, if we need to move something, we cannot move the internal origin and we cannot move the building. So project base point allows you to make that kind of movement and adjustments in the project. If you like this video and more videos like this, subscribe to our channel because there will be many more. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on.